Well, since it has been uh, in excess of 100 degrees for the past week, this is the, I think, second day we've been under 100. And we're down at like 94, 95. That's almost like an Arctic breeze here now for us. In any case, uh, the guys are down here. And you can see all this beautiful bedrock. And what they're doing is clearing off the bedrock, finding the holes in the bedrock, and taking material out of those. That's where the gold has deposited itself. And it's kind of like a little natural sluice here, natural riffles. In any case, we'll see what the boys are getting here in a minute, and I'll go scratch a little bit myself. All right, well, the boys have been here for... Uh, uh, well, I don't know, maybe an hour, and uh, already I see that they've got a pan here that has some gold in it. Look, it's gold in the pan. Not totally cleaned up, you can see a picker down in there. So, life is good in the uh, finding material department. Yeah, some nice chunky stuff there. Okay, well. I will get back and see what we can come up with. Okay, well, I got about a, uh, oh, I'd say maybe a half an inch of dirt in the bottom of a little two gallon bucket. And uh, went over, well, I classified it to quarter inch. Went down to the single pond that's got a little bit of water in it and panned out and I'll be darned if I didn't get a picker in my first pan. It's a little wobbly here but you can see that beautiful little chunker right there and you can also see a lot of what we call heavies. Those are those reddish colored rocks that contain a lot of uh, a lot of iron. And when you're getting into the heavies and you also get a little lead, I had one piece of buckshot in there. And you know you're digging in the right spot. So, here we are with a picker on the first pan. Can't argue with that. Let's see if we can zero in on that puppy for a second. Here we go. Nice chunk of gold. What am I supposed to say? Okay, well, here's Tim. And I don't know if you've heard in the background, Tim's got a uh, DeWalt battery-powered vacuum. And that little sucker works like a charm to get down into yep. cracks and crevices and uh, suck up the gold. Now, if you don't think that works, here's Tim's last little expedition into the vacuum arrangement. And let's see, there is gold right there. Look. Okay, let's see if we can get a little closer. And that's going to be it. So, nice little chunky stuff. And it looks like maybe a little ball of uh, mercury amalgam right there at the top. So, we will have to check on that. And make sure that we put that in a separate snuffer bottle. Okay, I've got a, uh, I've got a silver snuffer bottle. Or mercury snuffer bottle if yeah. you need one. Okay. And anyway, so there we go. We'll get back to scratching. All right, before I uh, continue cleaning my little crack out here, I want to show you basically where I am digging. This will be a little educational thing. All right, now you notice we have, this is not the creek bed itself. This is about, uh, oh, 30, 40 feet from the creek. But because we had a high water event, the water came over and ran down this little channel deposited a whole bunch of these rocks right here and hit this bedrock All right now you see that bedrock and right on the right hand side you can see that that bedrock <laughs> rises up at about a 45 degree angle right there All right on the right hand side where that dark area is is where I started digging and I dug back in and that is a nice crack. Uh, this is uh, this is shale, and basically shale kind of forms in leaves together, and the cracks between those leaves sometimes produce a lot of very very nice gold. 
as we can already see by, by the picker I got in my first pan. Anyway, I'm going to continue working that little crack right there and get it up. Once you hit the top where the water would generally start gaining some velocity going on down, just past the top a lot of times you'll find gold because the gold is dropping out along the entire length of the crack and then uh, it has slowed down to its maximum point right at the top up there so even more gold drops out right at the top of the of the, uh, of the drop or the crack excuse me so anyway that's what I'll be working on and unfortunately as we can see this is a little tougher area I've already cleaned out branches the size of this one right here about three of those that I was kind of ducking underneath to uh, get into that crack so I've cleaned these out now and it's going to be a little easier digging for me all right well Ray has been uh, diligently searching over there and was a little frustrated because he would be right next to Tim and Tim would get gold and uh, you know he would just get some, some lead and some heavies in his pan Anyway, he finally got into some here, so uh, yeah, can you bring the pan over here, I'll take a picture of it. Yes, the flies and the ticks are out in force here. Okay, kind of lay it right down there. And not much. Yes. It's better than you had. Let's get on down on it here. See if I can zoom in and see some gold. And there it is. It's pretty bad okay. when you guys zoom in on it, Rick. Well, no. <laughs> hey, you know, gold is gold here. All right. And I unfortunately have just. Are we done? Been, oh. you know, I was I was wobbling around a little too much there. I was trying to come back on the gold here. All right, let's see if I can find it again here. There we go. And there it is. Oop, then I move. Okay, and... The sides of that fucking bumblebee. Okay, mm. you're you're on the video right now, so oh. be, beware. Okay, okay, there's the gold. Okay, we got it. All right, and Ray's got some yeller in the pan. All right, well... I will now take a picture of uh, Ray and Tim's total gold here for, uh, what, you guys been here, two hours now? What do you figure? Ten, probably two and a half. Two and a half hours? Okay. okay. I don't know. All right, two and a half hours worth of gold. And let's see if we can sneak in on it here. There we go. Let me back up and kind of zoom a little bit and see if I can get in closer. That's the problem with it. trying to do this up in the, the dead on. This is still in the bottom of the pan. Sunshine. Oops, yeah. <laughs> it is. All right, let me get those two big pieces out here. And now, here we go. All right. And we can see some very nice gold there for Tim and Ray. All right. Let's get in on your chunkers and the rest of the gold. There we go. Well, here's Timmy and his DeWalt doing the vacuum the hole, right? And he is vacuuming all those little cracks and crevices. That's a really, really handy tool, especially if you're working in the dry. I, uh, past four years here where we live, we've had severe drought. All the uh, trees have now died, mainly because the drought weakened them, and then the uh, bark beetles got under the bark and killed them. And there's like a million trees or more in this area that have completely died and they need to be logged out or they're going to be worth, you know, nothing but uh, tinder for a forest fire. All right. 
So this is basically what's going on here on the bedrock. I'm gonna mosey on home due to the fact that it's getting hot. <laughs> and, and I'm a big wuss. After having uh, had a, a serious loss of consciousness due to heat stroke, right? I mean, uh, heat really affects me now. And I have to really be, really be careful. Okay. And... Drink lots of water, that's for sure. That's it. I got a, a bottle in my bucket and I'm going to go drink it right now. Okay, that's going to take care of uh, our video for today. And everybody have a good day. All right. If your name happens to be Ray, you never met a big boulder that you didn't like or you didn't want to move. So Ray is moving a, a huge boulder. Where we're up there on the bank with it. And, uh, what do you want me to use, shovel? I, I, I just grab a big rock and, and wedge it under there. Or you got another bar. I'll see if I can hold it up or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll oh, hold up, it ain't that heavy. Never mind. You got it. You got it rolled away from the from the bottom rock, and the bottom rock's what you want out of there anyway. So, uh, okay. It makes it look so light. Ray, <laughs> can I spell a word for you? Hernia. H e r. <laughs> you are a, a rock moving machine. Okay, we'll try. That'll be the end of the video now before Ray screams in pain. <laughs>